Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. It's my full video review on the Sony 1000 series XM4s. Let's get right into it. I'm going to come out and say right off the bat because I know a lot of people come to reviews and they don't want to sit through a 10, 20, whatever minute review just to get to a verdict. I'm going to say it right away with this one. These are by far the best Bluetooth, fully wireless Bluetooth earbuds I have ever used in my life. And the price is 100% justified. But with that, let's get into the nitty gritty and the, me the main reasons for why I feel this way. Uh, going with the pros and cons and then of course just kind of coming back to why I feel so strongly about my verdict for these headphones. So prior to having these earbuds as my daily drivers, the main ones I'm using for the past few weeks now uh, with working out, mowing the lawn and just using it for daily chores around the house, I used to use the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pros. Uh, now don't get me wrong, these are great. Honestly, these are really, really great earbuds. The only main difference between these and the Sony's essentially is the active noise canceling performance and the sound quality. Everything else is relatively the same. They both have a very minimal design. They have around 30 hours rated of battery life with the case. They both have wireless charging. So if you put the case right on a wireless charger, it'll charge the earbuds, no problem, which is really cool. They're both Bluetooth, I believe 5.1, and they're both rated around IP67 water resistance. So not waterproof by any means for either one of these buds, but if you're in, if you're sweating in them or if you're out in the rain, really shouldn't have any issues. But the main difference, again, between these two is just the Sony's outmatch the Galaxy Buds Pros by far when it comes to sound quality and its active noise canceling ability and also its ambient sound mode is also top notch so you can wear these have them in your ears turn it to ambient sound and then you can hear what's around you so you can have conversations with the people has a couple other cool features out we'll dive into the app in a little bit and the app is both for android and ios so no matter what device you have these will work with it the samsung galaxy buds are the same same boat they have the the galaxy app wear app that does work on ios as well as android However, in my experience, it has worked better on Android versus iOS. It just seems to get better updates or something, uh, and it connects automatically just like AirPods do to uh, any iPhone. So we're going to put these to the side for right now. Uh, I just wanted to show that that those were my main daily driving wireless earbuds before picking up the Sony's, and I would throw these in the trash for these. <laughs> like, Just put that out there. The, are these trash? No, they're, they're definitely good and they're worth their price. They are cheaper. I believe these run for 150 on the market right now, where these are going for about 250. So obviously it's a pretty big price jump going up to the XM4s. But again, is it really worth it? Is it is it just for the brand name? Is that what you're going for? Or is it actually a better experience? And from so far, it definitely is. So in the box with the XM4s, it doesn't really give you too much. And I'm going to be honest with you with this one. So it's 250 bucks. You open the box and, I, and again, I, I do like that Sony is going with a minimal approach here. They're trying to cut down on manufacturing costs and also save the planet with using recycled materials. I, I like that. That's cool. But I do wish in the box they gave us a little bit more accessories. Now, whether that be a longer cable for charging, which would have been nice, maybe a charging brick to the wall would have been nice. But my main issue is it doesn't include many ear tips. Now, I, I understand this is kind of gross. I apologize. These are used, but... I'm not even using the ones that came with it. I had to buy specially tips because not that they didn't fit my ear. They actually fit really well. And they're they're that like, I don't even know what you call this material. It's almost like Tempur-Pedic foam, but it is a foam material versus silicon. And I've always been used to silicon ear tips. Those are the main ones I've used for years. Not that they have ever really been perfect. They do fall out of my ears from time to time. These don't. These definitely stay in your ears. They give a really good tight seal. And I know that's the reason Sony went with these is because the, it gives you a better ANC. But the main problem with these and maybe others have had this issue as well. They stick in your ears. <laughs> so what I mean by that is whenever I try to take the earbud out of my ear, these would still be in my ear. And I had to have my wife literally surgically remove them. <laughs> so keep that in mind it might be something you might have to ever worry about i didn't see anybody in the reviews on these things complaining about that my ears might just be weird but with both size tips the smalls and the larges they stuck in my ear after taking them out after a little bit of use so it was definitely a warning i didn't want to bring these on the go and try these and have them stuck in my ear all day so i went online and for like five bucks i found a pair of aftermarket earbuds or ear tips i should say and these are what they look like. They're kind of a silicone. They're see-through. 
Uh, these are definitely high quality. I wouldn't recommend going with a super cheap brand. So I got these pretty cheap. They were on sale and they're normally 15 bucks and I got them for like five or six. It was really cheap. But again, that was on sale. So highly recommend these. I'll have a link in the description below and don't worry, I'm not sponsored by these guys or whatever. I, I had to buy these myself because it was the only way I could use these earbuds without them sticking in my ear. Because these stick on here. These, these are actually hard to get off. Uh, where with the foam one, the foam tips, they came off immediately. Like you literally just pop them right off. I don't, I don't like that. So is that a design flaw for the Sony's? I don't really think so because again, with the aftermarket ones, they stay on just fine. I don't have any issues with that. So I think it honestly is a design flaw with the foam ear tips themselves. Maybe that just the hole that goes on there is too, too big. I don't know, but it is definitely something they should look into because uh, that could be very dangerous. You don't want a piece of foam stuck in your ear forever or have to get surgery to get it out. So that is definitely something to, to be aware of when you buy these is you may need to invest in alternative means for the ear tips themselves. But now that we got this open, let's actually take a look at what's in the case itself. We can put away what was in the box and otherwise whatever else is in the box is just some manuals. And again, a very, very small USB-C cable. It's cool they give you a cable, I guess, to charge them if you don't have one at home, but let's be honest, you're not gonna be using that cable, it's pretty bad. So looking at the case itself, we have a nice cool LED in the front indicating the battery life. So right now we're fully charged which is green. If it is charging, it'll be orange. And then if it's almost dead, it turns red. And then obviously if it's off, no, nothing. So that's pretty nice to have a little indicator. A lot of cases these days don't even have that. So very cool. I don't even think the, I think the Samsung, yeah, it just has a little tiny white LED and it does change color if it is charging or if it's dead, which is nice, but it's a very tiny little LED. I like the design of this one better, the little, almost a stripe LED, I should say. On the bottom, nothing really, just some text, just like kind of indicating what brand of earbuds these are. Going to the back, we have a hinge and then we have the USB-C charging port. So even though these do wirelessly charge, like I stated before, you can also, of course, plug them in and charge manually. And then if we go to the top, we have the Sony branding. That's pretty much it, nothing on the sides. The hinge for the case, it's strong. It's got really nice magnets. I think the magnets are honestly the best part of this case because it is not gonna flip open if you were to shake this like crazy or if it were to fall on the ground. Trust me, I've dropped these twice now and they have not opened during both drops. So that says something. They, they will survive a pretty uh, big tumble or two. So that's pretty awesome. But other than the magnets, I will say that the hinge itself feels pretty chintzy. Uh, it's not very durable feeling. It It's nothing like the AirPods Pro case. That one is like perfect. The hinge on that is amazing. And same with the Galaxy Buds. I mean, the hinge is nothing to write home about. It's very cheap and flimsy. And honestly, the magnet isn't nearly as strong in the Galaxy Buds, but still strong enough to where I, I wouldn't worry about these dropping either. But I will say that this is a stronger magnet. And that goes for the earbuds themselves. They have magnets in here to keep them in place. And these are strong magnets. Like even if this is open and you were to shake this like crazy, yeah, they're not coming out like these. These are in there. And that's a good thing, a very good thing. So it shows they put a lot of time and effort into making this case durable and to keep your earbuds safe and sound when traveling. But yeah, here's the design of the when it's opened. You got the two earbuds right off the bat. We'll take them out just to show you guys what they look like. I'll put the case away for right now. And these are the earbuds. They are a little larger than a lot of the ones on the market. And I think that has to do with their base drivers as well as for the ANC to work properly. So if we're looking at just one, we have this kind of bronze chamfered metal on the outside. We have the Sony logo. We have a microphone, again, for the ANC to work properly and also for taking phone calls. And then on the inside, we have a sensor that lets the device know if you take it out of your ear or not, if it should pause the music or not. And it works very well. And then the charging connectors for when you put it in the case and then the ear tip, of course. And then another little microphone there too. So these things, honestly, I like the design. I think the design's pretty decent. I think it's more of an industrial look, more futuristic look compared to, I don't know, the Galaxy Buds are kind of bland to me. They look like beans is the best way to describe these. Never been a huge fan of the design of these things. They, they just there. But the good thing about these is they're very minimal. They don't stick out. So if you're wearing these, it's chances are people probably aren't even gonna notice you have them in your ear. Where these, they, not that they stick out very far and I'll put them in my ear and show you in a second but they are noticeable. I mean, definitely more noticeable in your ear versus the Galaxy Buds. So if you're looking for something that isn't flashy or isn't sticking out too much, these might not be the best for you because there are some earbuds out there that really fit in the ear and they kind of disappear. But again, that's really up to you. Is it a fashion thing or is it, are you there for the sound quality? 
So let's put these in my ears and I'm going to switch over to my side camera here and show you exactly what they look like when they're in your ear. So switching over to the side camera, sorry about the hair, I uh, just woke up, so. <laughs> but we're going to put these in the ear and I'm just going to show you exactly what they look like and how easy they are to put in. So that is fully in. The left side. So this is what it looks like from the side and I'm, I apologize if I'm like yelling right now because I cannot hear anything and these aren't even on. I mean, they are connected to my phone, but the active noise cancellation isn't even on right now. Uh, yeah, they're that tight sealed. Very good. But this is what they look like on the side. You can see they, they protrude a little bit. And then here's our front view. But uh, they don't protrude a whole lot. Like if I was looking at you straight on, a little bit difficult to tell that I have these in my ears, which is good. I don't like that they don't stick out too much. If, if they stuck out way too much, uh, they would just look really weird. So I'm glad they don't stick out too bad. But yeah, from the side, you can definitely, you can see them. They are a little pronounced. They even look almost like a little earring. If you, if you look at the, <laughs> the design of the bronze, it's kind of cool. So I like the design of them. Definitely no gripes whatsoever. And they're very comfortable. So let's get these out of my ear and switch to their camera again. All right, so we're back over here. Let's put these back, I guess, in the middle while we talk about them. So when it comes to the design of these, I think they look really great. They're very comfortable. I was very surprised by that because you would think that these Galaxy Buds Looking at these versus the Sony's, you would think these these would be more comfortable. They look lighter, they look smaller, uh, not as protruding out of the ears, all of the above. Honestly, though, in my personal opinion, I think these are more comfortable. I don't know if it's just the shape that goes with my ear. And I, this is coming from a guy that earbuds have never fit my ears properly, and they probably never will. But these are as close as it gets to having a perfect feel in the ear. I've never had them fall out of me, by the way. They, they don't get loose. That was another issue I had with the Galaxy Buds is over time, just with movement or talking or whatever, I like to sing along to my songs, what can I say? They fall out. They just tend to fall out. And it's not a big deal. I mean, I always would know when they're about to fall out and I just push them back in. I've never had that with these. I could wear these for five hours straight, never have to adjust them. They just fit perfectly in the ear and they stay there. So that is also a huge leg up for these versus other ones on the market. Because again, I've never found a pair of earbuds that stay in your ear and actually are comfortable for long periods of time because usually they get you know a little achy over time so huge leg up for the design so design overall is a plus i really have no complaints other than just the cases hinge a little flimsy to me and i don't necessarily like the outer feeling of the case it feels a little on the cheap side but i think again that has to do with the recycled plastics and everything but it is a matte finish it's not glossy so it's not going to get fingerprinted or anything like that so that is that is what it is but everything else about the earbuds themselves is pretty much flawless. So getting into sound quality, this is where the app is going to come into play. So I'm going to open up the app on my phone here so you guys can get a good look at it. So off the bat, it's going to tell you to connect them once you have the app downloaded and installed. So let's put the phone there. I may have to turn off my light so it's not reflecting like crazy for you guys. I apologize. But we're going to open these up, take them out, hit connect. And hopefully they should connect without them being in my ears. If they have to be, so be it. Okay, there we go. So sweet. We are connected. I'll try to angle it so the, so the lights aren't going crazy on you guys. So we have, it shows the right and left battery percentages, which is really awesome. You can also click show to see enable battery level display of charging case. The displayed battery level is updated when headphones are removed from the charging case. Cool. So as of right now, the charging case has 56% battery life. So almost half. And by the way, I have been using these since I bought them, which was over three weeks ago, and I've roughly probably listened to maybe nine, ten, probably eleven hours of music with these guys since I got them. I have not charged them since I took them out of the box and fully charged them on the day one. And I still have 56% left in the case and 100% on the earbuds. So that gives you a good testament of how the battery life is in these things. They are powerhouses, and even after a good hour long workout session i'd still have about 92 percent on each earbud with active noise canceling on the entire time so that kind of gives you a good frame reference of how long better lasts in one go and through the app you can actually change your music you can go forward backward play pause which is pretty cool and then you got activity mode which this i don't really understand 100 percent. it's like sony's trying to give you achievements for just doing things with your earbuds which is kind of cool and then information is more just kind of about like when you've updated it last and stuff like that, when new versions come out. And then tips, I don't know, if anything comes out that's interesting, you can read through there. 
The main portion is in the headphones and in the sound system. So in the sound is where we can actually select the differences between ambient sound, noise canceling, and off. So ambient sound mode, like I stated before, essentially turns on the microphones on the outside of the earbuds. It lets you hear your surrounding sounds and voices and everything. So if you're out and about, you don't have to worry about hearing a car behind you if you're biking or talking to somebody really quick while your music's still playing and you're not muting them out, right? Super cool and it works really well, honestly. So when I'm at the gym, like with my wife, a lot of times we'll stop and have a quick conversation. I don't have to take my earbud out and pause the music. I just go and click the right side of the earbud. It turns to ambient sound mode and I can talk to her fully without any issue. You can hear yourself through the headphones as well, which can be a little jarring at first because it gives you a little bit of a robotic sound to your voice. But if you don't mind that, and honestly, you, you won't mind that after a little bit, you get used to it pretty quick. You can have full conversation with these without issues, especially for phone calls. You're going to want ambient sound on so you can hear yourself and not be yelling at the participant you're talking through on the phone. Super cool. Works really well. The biggest feature, though, and this is the one everybody talks about, is the noise canceling mode. This is insane. I have I've had ANC headphones before in the past, especially over ear headphones that had ANC, not necessarily earbuds like such as the Galaxy Buds here. The pros, these do have ANC, but nothing nothing compares to what these guys can do in terms of ANC. The the act of noise canceling is just, it's next level. It's godlike. It's scary. It's it's very scary at how, <laughs> how quiet everything becomes. You, it's almost like you should be able to hear the blood rushing through your head. It's so quiet. Like, no joke. So when I'm at the gym and I turn noise canceling on, you know, normally before that, you hear the rushing of the machines around you. You hear people lifting weights. You hear grunting, sweating, everything you can think of, right? The millisecond you click noise canceling, you are in a padded room. You are alone. You, there is nothing around you. No one can bother you. It is crazy, dude. Now, I would not recommend using noise canceling with these things while doing certain activities, like, I don't know, uh, jogging, cycling, maybe even being at the gym is probably not a good idea because if something were to happen, you wouldn't hear it. You'd have to, it'd be all visual, right? But it is crazy and it works really, really damn well. So if you're looking for the best noise canceling you can get in earbuds, this stop no more. Stop watching the video and just buy these. These are by far the best ANC earbuds you can get hands down. Uh, yeah, it's insane. Now, you can also turn it on to be automatic. So if it detects a lot of wind noise, it'll actually automatically reduce the wind noise by turning on ANC, which is pretty cool. You can also turn on this feature called speak the chat. So I have tried this a little bit and it's kind of finicky. It's not perfect. But essentially, it listens for voices around you. And if somebody's trying to talk to you, it'll turn your music down. It'll switch to ANC mode. Uh, it'll switch from ANC mode to the ambient sound mode so you can hear around you and you can talk. And then I think it, it lasts for like 15 seconds or something. So it, it listens for voices. And if it doesn't hear voices for 15 seconds, it goes back to ANC, back to your music. This is a cool feature in hindsight. It's a, it's a cool idea. But if you're in an environment with a lot of people around you, if anybody is talking, even if it's not to you, it'll switch to the and to the uh, ambient sound. And yeah, it's kind of an annoyance. So I'd recommend only using this feature if you're at home, maybe like by yourself or with a significant other. Or if you're, I don't know, you're, you're in a park and there's no one around you. That might be a good idea to have it on just because if somebody were to walk up, you could hear them because it would switch and blah, 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 blah. But it's a cool feature. And then the biggest thing, in my opinion, with this app that's other than switching to the ANC is the equalizer. This is a huge improvement over so many other apps in the market. I don't even think the Galaxy Buds have an equalizer now that I think about it. So let me look that up really quick because I, I don't remember if it did. And looking at the Galaxy Wear app with the Galaxy Buds Pro connected, no, they do not have an equalizer setting. So it's what you get out of the box is what you get. Now, there are apps, of course, that have equalizers, like Spotify has an equalizer in the settings, which is pretty cool. And I actually have used it before for these earbuds specifically because they don't have one out of the box with their native app. But again, with the native app that comes with the Sony earbuds, you have an equalizer built right into these boys. And honestly, the the ones that come pre-installed. So if we go into down here where you can actually select the pre-made equalizer settings, I have it set to manual because I have changed a couple settings in here and I don't want to mess with it. But if you go through these, they have some really good choices right off the bat. So I think the most, probably the most common one people are going to use is either bright or excited because these seem to be more catered towards EDM or really bass heavy. And don't get me wrong, that's great. I think it works really well for a lot of songs. But if you're a metalhead like me, you listen to a lot of hard, hard rock music, 
these aren't going to sound too good. It's going to muddy out a lot of the highs and mids. So just keep that in mind. But again, you have the choice here. You have the choice because out of the box, without with this off, basically on just flat neutral sound, it sounds good, but it does feel like it's lacking. It feels like it's missing something. There's just not enough oomph to the sound. I think the bass is pretty lacking out of the box, but you just go right into here. You go to any one of these, and then you can actually edit these by themselves. You don't have to completely make it from scratch, which is really cool. So like, let's say I really like how treble boost sounds, but I want a little extra bass, right? So then you click on the little setting and you can move the bass up, but keep everything else just like treble boost. And then that's what manual mode is. So I believe this is an edit from the excited one, the excited preset. I added some five plus clear bass is what it's called. And it's perfect for my music anyway. Now, again, this is results may vary depending on what you listen to, but this is the way I like it. And it just it sounds great. Uh, sound quality, I literally have no gripes with it. The clarity of the highs is really remarkable. The mids are very full and flourishing. And then you got really deep, rich bass. It's not a very punchy bass or a very rumbly bass. It's just a good, warm bass is the best way to describe it. So it might be lacking compared to other headphones like Beats by Dre, for instance, when it comes to the bass quality, but it gets the job done regardless. And you can always raise it to become that rumbly bass if you'd like and in the equalizer setting. So that is a huge win for these Sony earbuds. If you want that control for your music, that is the way to do it. And then down here, we have 360 reality audio setup. Don't necessarily understand this, to be honest with you. I tried to set it up. It didn't work. I guess it just it tries to read your shape of your ears and then it optimizes apps to use this 360 reality audio. And again, you have to download a specific app for it. And I, I think you have to pay a monthly subscription for it, too. It might be really cool if you're really into music and stuff like that, but it's not for me. It's not needed. It's just there. Right. And then one last thing that's kind of interesting is you can turn this Bluetooth connectivity quality to different settings. So by default, it's set to prioritize the stable connection and then you can change it to prioritize sound quality. I've never even tried this mode. I'm just too afraid of it disconnecting because I don't know about you guys, but my most annoying anything when it comes to wireless earbuds is having these disconnect during the best part of the song. <laughs> it's just if, you, if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. It's just super annoying. So I prioritize the connection over sound quality. And even though I have it set to that, I have never noticed any issues with sound quality being dampened. So that that's awesome. And then you can turn DSE extreme mode on or off. And then we have system so we can change voice assistant functions. You can change uh, what each side of the earbuds do. So right now I have the right earbud set to playback control as well as the L or the left side going to ambient sound control. And what that means is they have touch controls set to the device themselves on the outer side. So on the outer side is touch buttons. Essentially, they're not clickable. They you don't feel them. It's just strictly touch controls. So and there's no swiping involved either, like on the over the ear Sony earbuds or headphones where you'd swipe up for like volume up, volume down, whatever. It's just tapping functions. So, for instance, on the right side, you would tap once to play or pause, double tap to go forward, triple tap to go backward. And that's pretty much it. Or to answer a phone call, you tap once. And then on the left side is your ambient sound controls. So you tap once, it goes to ANC mode, tap again, transparency mode, tap again, turn it off completely. Very easy, and it works every single time. I can say that with absolute certainty, never had any issues with it not noticing my taps, which is awesome because with the Galaxy Buds, they have the exact same feature, touch controls on both sides, same exact setup as these ones, but it works half the time. I will tap it, nothing happens. It just, for some reason, just it's not sensitive enough, I don't know. But the also thing that's really cool is even though it's super sensitive to your touches and never misses, it also doesn't give you any accidental touches when you're adjusting these in your ears, which really you don't have to ever anyway, because they stay in your ear pretty well. But if there ever is a time you have to adjust it around, I've never had an accidental touch happen. So <laughs> I don't know what Sony's magic did here, but it's amazing. It works really well. Touch controls are great. And again, you can edit those to whatever you like to do whatever you want, depending on your your style. And there's just a couple other settings in here that I'm not really going to go into, but you can see on here what they can do. But it is nice you get those options right off the bat. And yeah, it's all there for you for free. And you can turn them off and on from the from the app as well, which is really cool. And that is pretty much it when it comes to the XM4s. So would I recommend these? Of course. I said it already at the beginning of the video. And if you stuck this long through it, thank you. I love you guys for being here and watching all of my videos and 
staying here till the end. It truly helps the channel. It helps me a lot. And it means a lot to me that you guys stick through these and listen to my rambles. But yeah, these are by far the best wireless earbuds I've ever used in my life. I do not regret this purchase decision at all. And I will reiterate, I purchased these with my own money. These are not sent to me by Sony. So there's no bias whatsoever when it comes to these headphones. I don't even own another pair of Sony's. These are my first wireless earbuds by Sony's and they will not be my last because I've been blown away by these. So yeah, XM4s, are they worth it right now in 2022? Hell yes, I think they're even on sale right now. They're like 50 to $60 off from their original price. So I'll have a link to these in the description below as well as the ear tips if you wanna go check them out and purchase them for yourself. If there's anything I missed with this review, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with any questions or concerns you may have. If you have these, let me know what your thoughts on them. Do you love them as much as I do? Do you hate them? Why? Just, I, I love hearing guys' thoughts and stuff like this. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. Leave a like, share your support as always. It truly does help. And of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Peace out.